Hi there, it's Natasha and today we are going to have a go at using some embossed acetate in our card making. I am starting off um, by using this banner die and I think this was from AliExpress which I will link anything I can below that's from AliExpress. Uh, and I'm just going to run it through on some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Um, this is a little stitched banner and actually in the end I end up cutting a slightly thinner one because this one is just a little too big for what I needed. But anyhow, same banner, just slightly thinner. So I'm running it through twice because I'll need two in the end and just using some um, low tech tape to tape it onto my cardstock so that it doesn't shift on the way through my cuddle bug. So I have my two little banners done and I'm just going to put those to the side. And now I'm going to cut a tiny little um, congratulations die. I'm not sure where this one is from. It's just in my stash. So I'll have a look for it and see if I can find it for you. And I'm cutting it on some glitter cardstock. And underneath the glitter cardstock, I have some um, packaging foam, thin packaging foam, which just makes it cut nice and cleanly. I'm going to do the same thing here with this really delicate doily die. I'm just using that exact same piece of um, packaging foam and I'm using some um, vellum here. This vellum I believe is from AliExpress and it is quite thin but it does the job just fine. So I have on the back of this uh, vellum I have some stick it adhesive which is just like double sided adhesive because this um, doily die is so fine and so tiny. Um, it's the easiest way for me to adhere it down to anywhere. So I'm just picking out all these little pieces and I have sped this up. It did go pretty fast. They come out nice and easy. Um, so it really wasn't, wasn't too tricky at all. And I'm just using my um, quick stick tool to um, poke out all the little bits that, I, um, that are in between. And then I am just gently removing it and it's a gorgeous vellum doily that comes out of it. Then I have a piece of um, acetate and I just ran this through a um, uh, We Are Memory Keepers next level embossing uh, folder, just one that I had. You can use any pattern at all and I just ran it through like a normal embossing folder like you would to emboss a piece of paper. Then I have this uh, rectangle frame die and you could use just a rectangle um, die and it just so happened that the outside of this rectangle frame die was the size that I needed. So as I said, it doesn't have to be a frame die at all. I have one piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White as my card front here, cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I also have a 110 pound piece of cardstock uh, of Nina Solar White that is going to be my card base. So I need to cut through both of these. So here's my card front, the 80 pound one, and these two pieces I don't really need. I can set those aside for another something else. And here's my card front, which I want to do exactly the same thing to. So I'm just going to use that rectangle frame die again and tack it down so it stays in place. And then open my card up. Make sure that I open my card up before I put my it through my cuddle bug, or otherwise obviously it will cut through both layers and I don't want that. So I'm going to run this through my cuddle bug and then I have my card front and my card base which have the same um, rectangle cut out of the front of it. So you can see that here. And they both match up obviously. Um, that's what I need them to do. So from here I am going to end up cutting this uh, doily in half. I am going to have it feature twice on the front of the card. So um, instead of cutting out two, it was just easier to make use of the same one. And because it is symmetrical, it's nice and easy to cut it in half and still have them looking the same. Then I'm just adding some really thin adhesive. This is one eighth of an inch uh, tape to the outside of my 80 pound uh, frame. And I am going to Take the, adhesive, uh, take the liner off, but then I decide I actually just need to carry on with the other part first. So I've just set it aside and I'm doing the same thing to the inside of my card front. So this is like when the card's opened up already. 
Um, so it's not the front of the card, it's the inside of the card. So I'm taking off the release paper and I want to put these little um, doily dies, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And at this stage they still have the stick it adhesive uh, on the back. So they still have the release paper from that on the back. Um, and I'm just figuring out roughly where I want them to go. So this little border around the outside of the rectangle around the card front, this is what helps me hide everything. And that's why I need the second one cut because the second one, the little card front, will actually go inside of the card to hide all of the adhesive and all of the workings of the inside of the card. So here I'm just pressing it onto that um, tape that I put around the outside of the edges and then with my um, acetate sheet I just need to cut it down because it was four and a quarter by five and a half so I just need it to be a little bit smaller so that the sides don't um, doesn't come out the sides. So I'm just checking that it's going to fit and then I just need to put that I need to cut a little bit more off obviously and then I'm going to put that on top on my on the inside of my card front. So what I do need to do first is take off the release paper from my doilies because obviously those doilies are going to stick to the embossed acetate sheet. The um, release paper comes off really easily. I thought I was going to need my tweezers but it's pretty good. It's just you need to be gentle because obviously it's just vellum and then I'm going to put this um, acetate and I'm going to close the card on it so that I know that I've got it in the right place. So I saw someone using some um, vellum in one of their cards and then this idea kind of morphed for me <laughs> as I was uh, making it. So it was, it didn't go as planned but I had so much fun making this card and I really really love it in the end. Um, <clears throat> and I might go on to make some more of it or some different versions of it. Um, probably not on video, but yeah, just in my own time. So I have got this little, that's the little congratulations die that I cut earlier on. And because it had stick it adhesive on the back, I was just able to stick it down onto the banner die that I also cut earlier on. And then I just need to pop that onto the card. So easy peasy. I'm just going to put some double sided adhesive behind it. I've cut the banner a little bit shorter so that it just sits in nicely um, behind the rectangle frame. I didn't. I decided not to have anything sort of dimensional on this card because I felt like it would take away from the design of the card. So I didn't want to put any foam adhesive or anything like that underneath. I'm just lying it down flat, flush with the front of the card. So just tucking it up under there. And then the only thing that I have to think about now is that I need to make sure I can cover up all of the mess uh, on the inside of the card. Now the um, doilies, because they have stick adhesive covering the whole back of the card, really you can't see any adhesive. It still looks like a pretty pattern from the back. So I'm not too worried about covering those up. However, the banner die and the frame that has the acetate and the doilies and the edges of all those things do need to be covered up. So this is where our second banner comes in handy. I'm going to adhere that just flat again with some double sided adhesive onto the back of the front banner. And then because I put adhesive around the outside of this frame die earlier on before I changed my mind, all I need to do is stick it down carefully, make sure it's in exactly the same place and that hides all of the adhesive and workings of what we've done. That's my card for today. I really, really like it. I had fun doing it and I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.